Yes, welcome back to all Illuminator 11 and back to finishing off our series, Create Magic in Your Life. I just remembered that we didn't finish this series, so we are finishing it today. This is um, number 24. And the last one, we're going to be bringing in four decks for the Believe in Your Own Magic. And then we're also bringing in the last four decks for Manifesting with the Fairies. So um, if you haven't checked out the series, it's been a powerful series. Um, it's, and it's in the playlist section. You can go in there. It's called Create Magic in Your Life. And it's really about you moving forward on your own path, stand, stepping into your power, self-love, and, you know, manifesting miracles in your life, in your day-to-day -day life, through the things that you are doing for yourself as you walk on your own path. So definitely do check it out. So day 24, and the first card that we've got today, so we've got here protest, and it says start a revolution. So this is about standing up for what you believe in, standing up for yourself, standing up for other people. It can be, you know, even in the world that we're living in right now, there's so much that is going on. You know, this can actually be, you know, coming together with others to stand up for people who may be suffering, going through so many difficult things at this time. So it's about starting that revolution, being there to step up, to, 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 um, to be there for others and also for yourself to stand up for yourself. That's the word that I wanted um, to bring in there. And we've got empathy as well. That really goes with that. And empathy is about, you know, um, putting yourself in the shoes of another person, what they may be going through. And, you know, and being there wanting to help, that's really what that is about. So it can be, for example, things going on in the world, really feeling the pain of what other people who are suffering are going through, you know, where there's war, for example, and all these things that are really challenging for others and coming from that place of having that empathy and that wanting to help, you know, wanting to make a change uh, for others. So that's the energy that's really coming through here. It's, it's a reminder that... You know, in this journey of life, we are all one. And it's not about just me doing my life over here or just you doing your life over here. We're all one. And it's about coming together, helping each other in whatever way you can help others. So that's what I feel that, you know, this message is really about. It's that reminder that we are all walking this journey together and we're all one. And then the other card that we also have is also about uh, standing up for yourself. So, you know, this can be standing up for yourself in relation to other people. You know, maybe someone is there causing you some, you know, you just need to stand up for yourself when it comes to um, people that you may have around you, maybe in a relationship where you have not been standing up for yourself or you people who are treating you in not such a good way. And it's about standing up for yourself. So it really, that's the same sort of message that's coming through there. And then we've got sensitivity as well. And this is really about, you know, being the connecting with your, with your sensitivity as you're moving forward on your own path. This is about being sensitive to, you know, as your gifts start to open up as well and, you know, and really sort of like, you know, being there for yourself in a loving and compassionate way. And, you know, that can be that sensitivity that helps you to be in that in energy of feeling what other people are feeling, you know, using that uh, that sensitivity as well to help others in whatever way you can. And it can also be about looking after yourself, standing up for yourself, you know, where you may feel that you need to look after your own energy and you are feeling that sensitivity to things that may be bringing you down, bringing your energy down to really be there to stand up for yourself. So, you know, this can be in all sorts of different senses, but it's about looking after your own energy, you know, and, and, and being there for yourself and looking after you as well. And then the next card that we've got here, we've got raindrops, take a chance on them. So this is also another beautiful card. And this is also, again, that energy of, you know, we're not doing life alone. This can be taking a chance on someone and helping somebody else who may need your help. You know, it may be a stranger that you see on the street. It may be somebody 
We may just need your help. We're going to see what it actually says in the book for this one. So it's number 39. So the message for this one is, if anyone has a reason to keep their guard up, it is you. People have been known to mistreat you. And like any rational person, you finally got tired of it. Went back inside, locked the door. But you weren't supposed to stay out of the rain forever. No matter how terrifying the prospect may seem, you need to put yourself out there again. Whoever it is you're thinking of, they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm. So it's also about... Taking the chance, as I said, on other people, helping other people. But it's also if, for example, you've been hurt before on your own journey and um, and you've sort of kind of hidden yourself from the world, from people, sort of closed yourself off. You know, this is the message. Maybe somebody is trying to bring themselves into your life and they are interested in you, but you've been through pain and you send kind of closing yourself off. You know, this is the message that you are being shown that, you know, it's about putting yourself out there again. You can't stay hidden forever, you know, and it's about remembering that all the things that we go through are part of the journey of learning and you see what you've learned from the things that happened in the past. But, you know, you are here to not hide yourself forever. And, you know, and the message is, it can be a message for someone in particular, this one. So whoever you're thinking of, they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm. So it may be about talking to somebody, you know, that you wants to help you in a particular situation. It can be about opening your heart again to somebody who's, uh, who is interested in you or whatever that is you know the message is to take a chance on them so beautiful messages all coming through there and then we also have foresight and foresight i really feel is about knowing things and you know and maybe there is a part of you for example you are sort of keeping yourself away from other people but there's a part of you that kind of knows that you know this person is there to help you this person is genuine this person you know truly really wants to be there for you so it's about the knowing things in advance and you know that foresight comes through from your connection to the creator as you're walking your path and you are one with the creator, there are things that you just know. You know, you just know from within. And this is what this foresight is. It's about listening to that and moving forward as well in relation to that. It's about knowing things in advance. You know, it can be one of your psychic powers that are opening up to just know things and uh, and then, you know, maybe even foretell things and then something happens and you realize that you already knew that that thing was going to happen. So I feel that this can be uh, like a gift that is opening up for you as well as you're moving forward on your path. And as you use that gift, for example, the same way you use your sensitivity and your empathy, you know, these are things that are going to help you to be able to open up to creating and manifesting more things in your life because you're using those um, gifts that are about that connection to yourself. You know, that knowledge that you already have within, that foresight that you have, that sensitivity and, you know, and, and being empath empathic, which will help you as well as you're moving forward as well in your life. Okay. And then to finish off, we've got here Phoenix and he says, how's that for a happily ever after? So that's a powerful message as well to finish off. The how's that for a happily ever after? And it's the number nine. And the number nine is about, you know, coming to the end of a cycle. It's also that mess, that number of um, mission as well, moving forward towards your mission. So it's about, you know, um, sort of closing chapters to move to the next chapter of your life. So how's that happily, happily ever after? So let's see what that one is saying for everyone. So it's number nine, if I can open it. So this one says, no matter how hopeless you may be feeling at this moment, know this, you can and will survive whatever trials you've been put through. From the ashes of the past, you shall create a storybook ending filled with beauty and resilience. All future flames will cower when they hear the whisperings of your name. So powerful cards to come through. So it's a reminder that, you know, 
you will have your happily ever after. Things will shift. Whatever you may be going through right now, you know, it's seasons come and go. That season two shall pass so that you can come out on the other side, you know, and you can and you will survive. You know, you will survive whatever trials have been you've been put through. You know, this life is all about challenges and coming out from those challenges stronger than you were before. So whatever you may be going through, know that it doesn't last forever and things are going to shift and, you know, and you will survive this too and you'll come out stronger. So that's what I feel that you're being shown and that happily ever after will come in for you in whatever way that is meant to come for you as well because you deserve that. It's about coming to the end of a cycle to bring in a new cycle as well in your life. And then we have knowledge to finish off with. And knowledge is about that knowledge that you already have within. Sometimes we just know things. You know, it's it's also in relation to that foresight energy there. That's about knowingness. And you get that knowing from your connection to the divine. It can also be about gaining knowledge. Maybe you're being guided to learn something new, you know, so that you can be able to open up to your mission or to learn something new that's going to help you when it comes to creating more magic in your life, manifesting more things in your life, standing more in your power or, you know, being able to do the things that you truly came here to do that will open you up to even more uh, manifestations and abundance coming into your life. So it's about gaining that knowledge, learning the things that you're being guided to learn. And all these things as you do them are there to help you when it comes to your life. So those are the messages that are coming through. Stand up for yourself where you need to stand up for others. You know, being there for yourself and others is actually a way for you to be opening up to even greater things to come into your life. And, you know, and sometimes you may need that other person to help you. You know, maybe they're there to help you with your business or your things that you're working on to do with your mission. So take a chance on them. Don't just shut a people out because you've been, you've gone through a difficult time with another, with somebody else, you know, take a chance on them. You know, that can be what helps you working together with other people can be what opens you up to creating more of that magic in your life and know that things will change and you open up to that happily ever after that is meant to come in for you in love in abundance all the things that you are desiring you know this too shall pass whatever you may be going through whenever you go through challenges always remember that and keep moving forward in your power using your knowledge and insight and foresight to be able to move forward to create more of that magic in your life and happiness is always um you know an important part from the little book of happiness so some messages to finish off this series pick yourself up when you fall the word resilience stems from the latin resilio so that's really about standing up for yourself you know being resilient no matter what you may go through you know, that happily ever after, even if you get knocked down, you get up and you keep moving forward. So the word resilience stems from the Latin, from the Latin resilio, meaning to jump back. In our everyday lives, we need to, we need to find ways of bouncing back from adversity to pick ourselves up and carry on. Having supportive friends around us and managing our behavior positively are two helpful resilience strategies. So maybe that's where you may be needing to take a chance on them. They may be the friend that's going to help you through, you know, the supportive friend, the friend that is on the same vibration, the friend that is, you know, uh, uplifts you as you go through difficult things. Or it can be about having that positive um, attitude and behavior in everything that you do as well. Mix a little foolishness with your serious plans. It is lovely to be silly at the right moment. So that's another message as well to help you with keeping that happiness going as well in your life. So let's see what other messages we've not actually done so far. And we've got here home sweet home. Love the place you live. Sometimes being away from home reminds us how, of how fond of it we really are. 
Look with renewed eyes on your home and appreciate everything your area has to offer. Try being a tourist in your hometown. You may make some interesting discoveries. So that's just a reminder to, to just appreciate the blessings that you have around you in your home. The fact that you have a home to live in, you know, the area that you live, be a tourist. Maybe there are certain areas that you've not seen. You know, I actually did quite a lot of things I had not done in London, you know, in May when we had people visiting from for Liz's event and it made me appreciate London even more, you know, so that's the message that's coming through and it was fun. It's about doing those fun things as well. Things that bring you that happiness. True happiness comes from the joy of deeds well done, the zest of creating things new. So beautiful message, you know, that's where happiness comes from. The joy of deeds well done, that can be helping others as well, you know, being there for others. And, um, and the zest of creating new things. So using your creativity to create things in your life that can bring you happiness. I know, for example, when I create a new deck, for example, or write something for uh, posting and and it's something that I've created, you know, if it's um, a post for my medium or, you know, when I used to have the uh, the blog, you know, it's just seeing that something that you've created and it really does bring you happiness. Moderation, small helpings, sample a little bit of everything. They are These are the secrets of happiness and good health. So it's about moderation in everything. That's the message that's really coming through. And then build an inspirational library. Keep some of your favorite pieces of writing close to hand so that you can refer to them when you feel yourself slipping towards negativity. Poems, prayers, song, lyrics, or phrases from a favorite novel can all replenish and inspire. So these are just some beautiful messages to remind you to come back to that happiness and positivity when you find yourself getting a little bit lost into negativity. Doing is better than having. Spending money on experiences like eating out and traveling to new or favorite places rather than on expensive items can be very rewarding. Research indicates we glean more happiness from our memories than from material things. So consider this next time you reach for your purse or wallet. So that's just also a reminder to do things for yourself, experiences, eating out, traveling to new places or favorite places, doing the things that you love. That will help to bring more happiness as well into your life. And then angels can fly because they take them, themselves lightly. So that's a message that's coming through as well. That's about not taking yourself and life too seriously. Okay, and then to finish off as well, we've got here... Um, if you find yourself worrying excessively about things, it may be worth trying some cognitive behavioral therapy. This is a brief one-to-one -one treatment to help you notice when you are worrying, break the habit, and then implement alternative ways of reacting to your everyday problems. So that's a powerful message as well. If you're constantly worrying about things, this may be a message for you. Maybe you needed to hear this today. Cognitive behavioral therapy. What that will help you to notice when you're worrying and then break that habit and implement alternative ways of reacting to your everyday problems. And then those who bring sunshine into the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. So what a beautiful message as well to finish off. And that's that energy as well of helping others, starting that revolution where you may need to, standing up for others. You know, it's about helping others because as I said initially, you know, your joy comes from giving as well to others. You know, it's, it's giving to yourself, but also giving to others. We are here as social beings. And as I said, we're all one. And the more you are in that energy of actually giving to others, you know, where you bring sunshine into the lives of others who may need it. You know, someone who may be going through something at that time and you give them or they are struggling with something, you give them that support, you give them that help, you stand up for them at that time. You know, you're bringing that sunshine into their life and that bringing sunshine into the lives of others is also very rewarding for you. And, you know, and by doing that for others, you cannot keep that sunshine from yourself. 
So those are the messages coming through to help you to create more of that magic in your life. And it's about moving forward in your power, standing up for yourself, standing up for others, being there to give to others as well. And, you know, and doing the best you can in everything that you do, you know, looking after yourself and all those things that you are doing are going to help you to bring in and create more of that magic in your life. I hope you have a great day, guys. It's been a wonderful series. I look forward to the next one. I feel I'm getting guidance towards it now as well. So I will let you know when I'm ready to start the new series. But it's been beautiful. I wish you all the happiness and keep shining. Lots of love.